all around the world and on four continents, Dr. Mark DeVolder prepares people for change, helping Colombian business leaders get ready for the NAFTA free trade agreement, offering guidance for the ending of the NASA space shuttle program, coaching world industry leaders in mergers and acquisitions. Dr. Mark DeVolder makes people change ready. Best-selling author and winner of the prestigious Top 5 Speaker Award, Mark enables teams to navigate change, build high levels of trust, and become fully engaged. Whether he's speaking to 60 or 6,000, you can count on Dr. Mark DeVolder for cutting-edge content, entertaining audience interaction, valuable takeaways, all illustrated by unstoppable humor and memorable stories. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Change Specialist, Dr. Mark DeVolder. Some people thrive on change, many do not. Me, I love change. In fact, last year, get this, I changed my name to Grandpa. <laughs> Basically, the way we evaluate change is first and foremost how it affects us personally how we react to change. And every person is an individual. Everyone responds and reacts differently. I'm going to test that out right now just to see what kind of group, what kind of individuals we are. Are you ready for the songs? Here we go. First one. The Stones! Woo! Yeah, yeah. George Michael, come on. Don't you love those tight pants? How can you stop the rain from falling? Yeah, come on. Woo! Highway to hell. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. Well, I, I noticed that uh, not everyone responded to every song with a whoop whoop. You loved them, some of them. You hated some of them. You hated really some of them. <laughs> Sir, what is your name? Uh, Mark Thompson. Okay. And what is your definition for the word liminality? Well, actually, it's liminality. You've mispronounced it. And that means putting flavor in your Mexican beer with your lime. <laughs> <laughs> That is good. <laughs> Lindor chocolates, okay. Who else has a definition for liminality? Liminality. Okay, back here, sir. What is liminality? Is it resistance to change? Did you look up the definition? No, no absolutely no. not. You're not even close. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to find out what liminality is? Liminality refers to the time of transition. What we're going to look at today, not so much change management, but transition management. Because I find one of the most difficult situations with change is that in-between time, in-between transitions. The idea with each stage, and there are three, the idea is that with each stage, there is work that must be done. When we do the work of stage one, we then progress on to the next stage. If we don't do the work of stage one, get this, we get stuck. Do you know, acceptance does not mean that you like the change. It doesn't mean that you condone it. Do you know what acceptance means? It means it happened. It happened. And for us to do the work of stage one, we must first of all accept and then let go of the past. This deals with resistance to change. So think not only of yourself, because you also have to navigate change, but you have to enable your people to be able to navigate change. And what they want to know is, do you really understand what this is like for them? Do you understand? And when we can articulate what the change is very succinctly, what will be different, and thirdly, who's losing what? 
When we can demonstrate that we understand that, and we know how difficult this change will be for them, just to keep up to speed, then it helps them to deal with their own resistance. But a guy came along back in 1968, and he developed a new way to go over the bar. 1968, Mexico City in the Olympics, a fellow developed this type of high jump, and together I want you to say this with me. This is the what? Exactly, Fosbury Flop. It was developed by Dick Fosbury. Dick Fosbury got gold in 1968 in Mexico City. All together in one voice, who got the silver medal? <laughs> you don't know. You know what? Surprisingly, I did this uh, presentation one time for a group of librarians. They knew. <laughs> When change goes well, what I find is, is people stay engaged. When changes do not go well, people disengage. What is engagement? Engagement is dedication, motivation, and a sense of belonging. But more importantly, it has its foundation in relationships. But the third category really concerns me. They are actively disengaged. They are deeply unhappy and they sabotage from within and without. Again, I was at a restaurant, this time in Toronto. I'd never been to the restaurant before. It was recommended. So I walked in, sat down. The server came over, brought me a menu. I looked at the menu and I thought, oh, I asked the question that I normally ask. I said, um, what do you recommend? He said, going to another restaurant. <laughs> Whoa. I looked at my watch, and I thought, uh, I still have time to find another restaurant. But I was curious. Why would a guy say something like that? So I said to him, where does that come from? And he went on to tell me, all of the unreasonable things that his boss required of him. He couldn't talk on the cell phone to his girlfriend when he was with customers. I know. Ridiculous, isn't it? Well, guess what? I decided to stay after all. I had a wonderful meal. But you know what I did before I left? As I was walking out, I saw one of the other servers. I said, excuse me, could you um, ask the manager to come over? Manager came over, and I said, uh, you see that guy over there? He was my server. That guy is costing you money. That guy is sabotaging this restaurant. That guy is actively disengaged. The good news is this. If we know what causes disengagement, we can address those issues and get people re-engaged. The good news, the 54% who are disengaged. My premise is this. Most of those people started off engaged. I believe if we give people what they need, we can get them re-engaged. Mark DeVolder's client list is impressive. NASA, Motion Industries, Siemens, BP Oil, Price Waterhouse Coopers, Dr. DeVolder has engaged and delighted audiences from New York to Dubai, from Toronto to Jamaica, and from Bogota to Kuala Lumpur. Mark gave us tools to soar higher. We're still talking about Mark's presentation. Mark brought us to our feet. Bookmark DeVolder today and see the profound connection between highly motivated employees and increased productivity and profitability. Get change ready. Get engaged with the change specialist, Dr. Mark DeVolder.